First of all, we will, I want to send my condolences to the family, to the people of Lango and her constituents of Dokolo, and to the larger FDC community. The Honorable Cecilia Ogwa, we started this parliament when we were 32 FDC MPs. The Honorable Atan was removed through a court process and by election. Now the Honorable Cecilia Ogwara has died. So we remain 30 FDC MPs. The Honorable Cecilia Ogwa uh, came to be known as Iron Lady because she was very assertive and, and, and very forceful speaker, both in the parliament, in the seminars, on the radio, on TV. And at the time, it was very difficult to identify yourself as a, 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 an opposition politician. She's one of those who stood out, together with the, uh, the Honorable Mara Tubos, the Ben Watchers, the doc, late Dr. Kure Park. But she was also part of the Lango MPs. In the 7th and 6th Parliament, I think the best MPs in this Parliament were from Lango. The Watchers, the Atubo, the Dr. Kure Park, and Cecilia Ogwa. And uh, few as they were, they sounded like they were more than the NRM MPs were in Parliament. Because if you read the content, the answer of Parliament, you will discover that they, they, they occupied more space than the NRM who were the majority. So we will miss her as a politician, as a mother, but also as, as an encyclopedia, someone who has lived and has been part of Uganda's politics for a very long time. I start, yes, thank you very much. This has been a very, very sad morning to us. First of all, as Parliament, because uh, Honorable Cecilia has been real appealer with a very loud voice, a research information that really it's a big blow, a big bank to us as Lango and secondly as Parliament of Uganda. She has really been a mother, a mother to the women, a mother to this nation and somebody whom we all look upon in all areas. Whether there is any problem, whether there is conflict in Lango, really. She has been a guiding personality to most of us as women, as members of parliament, and development oriented. So as a people of Lango, we are really still shocked. We don't know what to say. We don't know why. In a series, just recently, we, have, we lost a member and a minister. And again, the ugly highs of death has again picked our very best from the sub-region, and as parliament, it's really sad. This morning we learned of the unfortunate passing on of the Honorable Cecilia Atim Ogwal. She's been one of the longest serving members of parliament. Um, right by the way from the Constituent Assembly, she is somebody who made her mark over, over time. Uh, she's been with us in the opposition, we've been learning a great deal from her from the time we entered parliament. She's been a motherly figure, you know, and many of us, especially the new entrants into parliament, would connect with her every once in a while to, to learn from her, to get her opinion, her views on a couple of things. Um, approached her a few times, you know, in the past, as looking forward to continuously engaging with her now as leader of the opposition because some of these seniors there's a lot that, that they know that they can share that would be of good guidance to us. So it is very sad. Uh, this is somebody who, over the years, would put government on the spot. You know, um, She would insist on government accounting to not just parliament, but to the people of Uganda, as it should be, anyway. And so she got that coining of the name Iron Lady. So even as we mourn her, I think more important for me is um, we, we celebrate her dedicated service to this country and we shall remember her for that. As probably the leader of the opposition, did you ever notice that she was sick? Because mm -hmm. for us who, been, who have been seeing her around, despite her old age, mm. we never tell if she had any complications. Mm. Yeah, the, the Honorable Cecilia Gual, of course, over time became a little bit frail. Uh, and uh, she would uh, often joke with us, the young ones, you know, and uh, say, I used to walk very straight like you. Now my back is bending a little bit, you know, and would joke about that. Uh, so she, she became a little bit frail, but even when she was frail, she would still come to the house, you know, and she had her particular regular seat where she would sit. So, yes, she was frail, especially because of that, but um, 
it, it was really not known to us, especially in the past two, three weeks to a month, perhaps because we have been on recess. You know, when you're on recess, people are wherever it is that they are. So when the house is not sitting, sometimes it's difficult to tell who is around, who is not, and that kind of thing. So it didn't occur to us that she was actually bedridden in hospital somewhere uh, because we have been on recess. Uh, but we understand, you know, she deteriorated a bit. She was taken for, for treatment, and sadly she has not made it.